so, uh, so yesterday, I think we did a decent job right, of trying to understand uh, kind of software culture, software media, and of course not all of it, but a particular part of it, which is, let's say, media, right, the experience of creating media uh, in a kind of contemporary, sort of standard desktop <coughs> production environment. And I think we did, you know, a pretty good job. But what I want to point right away is that in order to be able to kind of take this standard, uh, commonly accepted definition of medium, which, as I mentioned, already doesn't apply to even photography, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like something which probably works better for you know, print technological media. Uh, you know, we also had to admit lots of things. So, for example, we uh, didn't really spend any time talking about what for many, for most people in the 90s uh, uh, was the single most important uh, new feature of computer media, which is interactivity. Right? And interactivity, of course, right, can cover lots of things. So, if you equate interactivity of interface, right, it can be everything from you know, like moving a mouse to Right, the way it's implemented on iPhone or Microsoft Surface to these emerging physical interfaces, you know, voice recognition, uh, and of course, there is right, conceptual models of interactivity, interactivity between dialogue between human and machine, uh, right, and also historically, right, different models of interactivity. For example, in the 1980s, right, in the early we had lots of interactive media and video games which had this kind of three model interactivity, right? So you could, at every point you have some decisions and where to click. So you could basically represent the whole narrative as a kind of graph structure. And then of course when video games switch to using real time with the computer animation, things become much more open, right? Anyway, another thing another thing which of course we didn't really talk about is uh, I mean we did we did mention it but we didn't really we haven't really done this in any systematic way, is the generative capacity of computer, right? But we did mention that, remember when we had a kind of, well, when I made a slide, a paper slide, and I said, well, we can think about, let's say, all the different tools and uh, buttons and filters in Photoshop as, in terms of very kind of, well, I don't use the word archaeology, genealogy, right? Because you know, we come with this theoretical right, understandings by people for Foucault and Zelensky. Uh, but let's, see, let's just say it's history, right? Uh, well, maybe genealogy would be better. Right? Let's say genealogy, genealogy or history. We said, well, you know, we can maybe divide right, these techniques uh, available to us in programs like Photoshop and uh, perhaps three different types. So one would be a general interface and information manipulation techniques, right? Which are common to all contemporary Good software, you know, things like multiple windows, you know, things like copy and paste. Uh, so this is interface techniques, and it's also very general techniques for manipulating representing information. Right? Uh, one of these techniques, for example, would be. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go into a kind of history of technique. You know, uh, let's see. Today, but one of these techniques is called view control, and. Uh, it's something which was introduced by actually, something which was introduced by by Douglas Engelbart, uh, right, by Douglas Engelbart uh, in the mid nineteen sixties, and you know nobody has ever wrote about it because few people have looked back and reread re the writings uh, or looked closely at the people who actually invented computer media. So we'll do a little bit of it today. So basically the idea of the control was, well, the computer should provide, the computer medium should provide multiple views of the same information. And to me, this is as crucial <laughs> and as fundamental as the whole idea of interactivity or even the whole idea of networks, perhaps, right? And of course it works in a variety of different ways, right? So you can look at the files in this way, in this way, in this way, but, uh, this kind of principle, right, the principle that you can display information 
in a variety of different ways. It's implemented you know, throughout you know, digital software uh, in you know, endless ways. And again, it's one of these capacities right, which was never available in a concrete software medium. Right? I mean, you couldn't just take a book and magically right, touch it with a magic wand and have a book in front of itself. And, and of course, uh, visibility it seems to be also central to identity of computer as a new type of information processing machine which seems to historically right, come along simultaneously with a shift of let's say, modern societies uh, from industrial societies to so-called post-industrial societies or information societies or knowledge society right? because the computer of course becomes a foundation of knowledge society right, where uh, let's say symbolically or economically or theoretically labor is not necessarily about right, extracting, it's not necessarily about mining or doing something in factory, but in fact mining information, it worked a lot of information, this ability to, to be able to examine this information, right, in a variety of different ways, uh, and to uh, you know, maybe study it, right, this ability to view information and you know, have different views seems to be very fundamental, this capacity of computer, or to use a computer as a main, let's say, engine right, of, let's say, symbolic analyst or knowledge workers of today. Uh, so, uh, I just want to say maybe you know, literally one or two things about uh, this generative capacity, right? Uh, so, I think that, uh, so, sorry, 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 guys, back to that, sorry, okay, so, so, let's say, so I said that conceptually we can, let's say, break up the techniques available today in uh, the media editing applications, right, into the three categories. So one category is very kind of general techniques which are common to all software, right? and then they can propagate down to particular applications. Then the second would be, uh, let's say, certain techniques which we can think in terms of their historical origins, right, as simulations, as a kind of scenes of the techniques previously available in different media. And then the third class, the first type of the techniques, which seem to be uh, kind of genuinely new right, to a computer. Uh, actually, uh, I should add a fourth type, or rather a fourth way to classify these techniques. So fourth type would be, uh, oh, I mean it's a kind of different way to slice, right, to slice the same pie. Uh, so a different way to divide these techniques would be to say that if you look at, let's say, Photoshop toolbox or uh, tools operations available right, in any program, you know, be it like maps on the iPhone you know, or something else, we can divide the techniques which are available into like media specific right, and media independent. Right? So there are maybe certain techniques which, again, are maybe shared between all, let's say, media editing or media viewing applications. And then there are going to be certain techniques which are specific <coughs> to a particular media type, which, which has to be kind of weighted with a type of data structure, right? So there are going to be certain techniques you can do vectors, some techniques you can do images, some techniques you can do maps, some techniques you can apply to text, right? Some techniques you can apply to email. Okay. Uh, so now, and then, uh, I think, let's say, get an hour away, maybe I should draw this, right? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, because it's always drinking in the bars, right? I mean, my drawing skills are not the best, but you know, actually was trained in classical drawing, like in Russia. So actually, I basically have an art department. I probably want a person who can draw out of course the people, right? But anyway. Okay, so, uh, so here's our, what I guess today it's all about, it to be some very kind of primordial, kind of high paid lives. Okay, so, so we can say, so one way to slice it, right, one way to slice it is to say, okay, we can say it better, uh, right, so, uh, so we can say with techniques, 